York Regional Police is always committed to the safety and security of all of our citizens in the community, but being prepared yourself can make a difference in the outcome. If you're faced with a dangerous situation, your first thought should be, what's important now? When? As you're about to see, it could save your life. Today may feel like just any other day, but a terrifying situation can happen. It may happen at any time, any place, anywhere, and it could happen to you. In an instant, you could be faced with the most frightening situation of your life. At York Regional Police, we're always concerned about the safety of our citizens. However, if faced with a dangerous situation like this, you need to plan ahead and think about what you're going to do until help arrives. There's three key actions that could save your life. Run, hide, defend. First, what's important now is to run. If you have the opportunity to escape, then get out of the building as quickly as possible. Try not to panic and be decisive in your actions. Keep moving. Leave your belongings behind, they're not important now. Keep in mind those who may need assistance. What is important is getting yourself to safety. If you are out of immediate danger from the attacker, attempt to make sure others don't walk into the danger zone unknowingly. When possible, call 911. Try and remain calm when talking with the call taker. They'll be looking for as much information as possible in regards to your location, the number of attackers, their description, weapons, and their last known direction. What's important now? If you have the chance, run to safety. Keep yourself from view. Leave your belongings behind. Help others stay out of harm's way. Call 911 from a safe location. At York Regional Police, we're prepared for emergency situations just like this one. We receive countless hours of world-class training and are qualified to use state-of-the-art equipment. And we will respond as quickly and effectively as possible. But the actions you take before we arrive are the most important to ensure your survival. Your first thought should be, what's important now? Well, your best option is to escape as quickly as possible. What should you do if you encounter an attacker or hear gunshots and you cannot run to safety? What's important now is to find a safe place to hide. You want to make it difficult for the attacker to see you, hear you, or find you. Move quickly and do your best to remain quiet and calm. If you cannot find a locking door, improvise and keep the attacker out. Turn off the lights. And be aware of your surroundings. You may need to move quickly at any time. Remember to turn off the ringer and vibration mode of your cell phone, but don't turn it off. What's important now? If you can't run, find a place to hide. Try to make it difficult for the attacker to see you, hear you, or find you. Lock doors and turn off lights. Silence your phone. Be ready to run or defend yourself in case you're found. It can be a frightening situation to hide and wait, but rest assured police are on their way. But despite your best efforts to run or hide, you may still come face to face with your attacker. You must be prepared to defend yourself because this could be the fight for your life. Fighting back should always be your last resort, but what's important now is doing what you need to do to survive. Do not open the door to anyone once it's secured or until police instruct you to do so. If possible, don't act alone. There is strength in numbers. Work together. Again, improvise. Find anything that can be used to defend yourself. A pair of scissors, a fire extinguisher, or anything you can easily access. Remember, this is a fight for your life and you want to survive. What's important now? Defending yourself is a last resort. Improvise defensive tools. Work together as a team. There's strength in numbers. Defending yourself may also give you the opportunity to run or hide. Remember, while the police are on their way, your actions before they arrive could save your life. When police arrive, their first priority is to stop the attacker. They will not tend to the injured until they know that there is no further threat. Always listen and obey police instructions and keep your hands visible. Keep in mind the actions you take when faced with an active attacker are critical to your survival. Be aware of what's happening around you, and if something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Make sure you familiarize yourself with your surroundings. At work, or even at a public venue, take the time to know where exits, doorways, and stairways are. What's important now? Are you able to run? Where will you hide? Are you prepared to defend yourself if necessary? 
When faced with an active attacker, these steps can greatly improve your chance of survival. Win. What's important now? Run. Hide. Defend.